Hi guys, Steve Girardi here. Welcome to Steve Strings. Today I have another unboxing and review video for you of the Mirio Mahogany Concert Scale Ukulele. I've got it right here, so let's get started. Alrighty, so there we have it. Let's go ahead and take this out. Again, this is a concert scale ukulele, and uh, it is available on Amazon, and I have looked at the, the uh, description of that, and there's some disconnects to it about it that I'll talk about. Well, let's start by seeing that it does come with a gig bag, and from looking at this gig bag, let's take a look here. It looks like it's maybe five millimeters worth of, uh, of padding on it. From looking at the description of the bag in Amazon, they say it's 10 millimeters, but it does not quite look that thick. All right. This instrument also comes with a number of other items with it, one of which here is a pretty substantial shoulder strap. This does come with a, uh, a tuner. And it looks like that's it. From the Amazon page, it says it also comes with uh, three picks. It looked like there were some more things in the, uh, in the pocket in the gig bag. And it looks like it does come with an extra set of strings. On um, Amazon, it says that it comes with um, Aquila strings. But these look like clear sort of... Uh, either nylon or fluorocarbon strings. It also comes with a little ukulele player's guide and it came with uh, three uh, guitar picks for those folks who want to use those. Let's go ahead and look at the bag real quick. Like I said, I think it's maybe around five millimeters of padding, probably not 10 as described. Um, it does have two shoulder straps, which I do like. And uh, the carrying handle here is just a basic webbing handle but it seems to get the job done. And the pouch here is certainly good size and should be able to fit all the accessories that come with us. So let's go ahead and look at the instrument. There we go, and for the big reveal. Okay, we can see that this instrument does have one of those sort of wave-shaped um, headstocks. And you can see here it has the Mirio logo there on it. And from the look of this, I would say this here is laser etched. And you can see it does have a veneer of what appears to be mahogany there on the headstock. And again, the neck in the um, nomenclature is described as mahogany as well. So let's go ahead and look at this. As I said, it looks like it has a veneer of mahogany on the headstock. The uh, tuning machines here Looks like they're just sort of basic open geared tuning machines, nothing fancy going on there. Um, from the look of this uh, saddle, I'm sorry, from the look of the nut, it looks like the nut is sort of a darker kind of a plastic color. And the saddle looks like it is a similar uh, color there as well. Um, from the look of the saddle and the, and the, uh, the fretboard, they appear to be rosewood. If they're different than that, I'll stay above. From the look of this fretboard, it is plainly a bound fretboard. You can see it has a fine line of a darker material there binding. It does have position markers here on the face, although it does not have position markers on the player side. You can see it does have a joint here at the heel and a scarf joint here at the headstock as well. This instrument does come with strap buttons, which is nice because it does come with a strap. The body here you can see it does have a pretty nice grain to that mahogany and you can see it has a laser etched uh, rosette going around the sound hole and the sides also have nice looking what appears to be mahogany and you can see this instrument does have an arch to the back and typically that helps with projection so we'll see if that's the case. Right? From looking at this on the inside, I can see that it does have uh, notched kerfing on the inside, and you can see the Mirio label there. Right. 
from looking inside, it looks fairly neat and tidy. I'm not seeing significant squeeze out anywhere. Okay, from looking inside here, I can see that it does not have any bracing on the back because again, it is arched and apparently that gives it the strength it needs. From looking at the neck block, the neck block appears to be uh, sort of like a, um, like a, a fiberboard material or like a compressed wood. It doesn't look to be a block of whole wood. I'm not sure that makes a difference or not. It's plainly not in tune. So let me go ahead and uh, bring it to pitch and we'll get initial sound sample and look at it a little more closely. Well, as you can see, I've gone ahead and brought this instrument up to pitch and uh, let the string settle for a bit and play it a bit so that hopefully it won't go out of tune too much now that it's kind of uh, tuned in. Well, let's go ahead and talk about this a little more, some things I kind of noticed along the way. First thing I'd like to say that these, uh, these uh, buttons on the tuning machines, I like. They're like a little perloid sort of a color. I'm not sure if you can see that in the light. But they're relatively small, which I like because some instruments have pretty big buttons, which I'm not too keen on. Um, also, I looked this thing all over looking for any scratches or pooling of finish or things like that. And I should say that it, if you can't tell, this has like sort of a matte or a satiny kind of finish. But I found no finish flaws anywhere. I did find two very, very small things that you might not even, even be able to see, but I'll try to point them out. And right here on the side of the headstock, in fact, I don't even think you can see it, there was like a little bit of like a scuff. So I don't know if somebody like bumped the side with a tuning machine when they were setting them up. Uh, again, I, I can't even see it unless I get it in the just the perfect light. Also on the back of the instrument, and again, I'm not sure if you can see it or if I can find it again. There it is. Uh, right here, there's also an ever so small scuff right there. You might be able to see. And that was really it from looking at this instrument all over. Those are the only finished flaws I could find and they were almost imperceptible. Right. So I did mention uh, this thing does have a bound fretboard, which is nice because I cannot even feel the frets. Uh, in fact, they don't even go all the way out to the edge, which is nice. Let's talk about the strings. Uh, the strings, as described in the nomenclature, are, are Aquila for both the strings that come with this and the spares. The picture in Amazon uh, looks like they are white strings like Aquila Nile Gut strings, but you can see on this instrument these instruments are not white strings. These are like a clear uh, Kind of a string and I, I'm not aware of what those might be if they're Aquilas So are these Aquilas or are they a nylon string? I, I'm not certain they are not labeled so I can't tell for certain Another thing we're talking about here is here at the bridge you can see that the slot for the saddle is not perpendicular. It was purposely carved in at an angle so that uh, it's slightly pitched back and that puts more wood material here on the on the uh, the headstock side of the saddle which just makes it stronger which I like. Again I got out my string gauge here to measure the the action at the 12th fret and the action is 2.5 millimeters at the 12th fret which certainly makes it very, very playable. I checked all the way up and down the neck on all the strings and there is no uh, fret buzz anywhere along the neck. In fact, from looking here at the frets, you can tell that they have been fret leveled only because in some places um, they're not perfectly rounded again. They're ever so flat in some areas. Uh, the bottom line is it has had a fret leveling, which is a good thing. Another thing here to talk about is the wood material. In the Amazon page, the, the description and like its title, and I'm reading it now, it says 24 inch solid mahogany uke. 
Um, this uh, instrument does not have a solid um, soundboard back or sides. In fact, you can see here the, the, the layers in this laminate wood. Uh, so while it is layered, um, um, and, and I should say that the sound is fairly typical of what I've seen in, or what I've heard, in other uh, laminate mahogany instruments. Let me talk briefly about the intonation. Uh, again, this is a 15-inch scale, and I did check the intonation, and, uh, and the, uh, the strings were uh, basically the, the E and the A string. Well, the E was dead on. The A was very, very close. Um, and the G and the C strings were slightly sharp. And again, that may be a factor of the string still settling. I'm not certain. But for me, it, it's not a big issue. They were not off by, by very much. Let me go ahead and uh, play this again. Again, you heard it on the way in. But I'll do a little finger picking and then some strumming so you can get a sense of it. And again, this is tuned re-enterantly, GCEA. Fairly decent resonance. And I should say that this thing has some pretty good volume. And that may be a factor of this sort of arched back that it has. But the volume is certainly good. So there you have it, the Mirio Concert Scale Laminate Mahogany Ukulele. And I should say that this is a just one of many, many Laminate Mahogany Concert Scale Ukuleles out there. I should say this is probably not the best sounding of all the ones I've, had, I've listened to. It's also not the worst sounding either. Um, I would say that if you um, maybe found the strings that you personally like, uh, and see if they fit well with this instrument. My guess is it may sound better than it does in the strings it has on it right now. Uh, but I would say that this is certainly competitive in the market out there with other instruments. I would say that the gig bag, well, it's certainly uh, passable. Uh, it's not as thick as some other gig bags I've seen on some other uh, ukuleles that have like the whole complete starter kits. But this certainly has everything that a beginner would need. So if you're thinking about getting something like this for um, a beginner, uh, it has everything they need. It has a decent sound, the setup as well, the action is good, and this is very, very playable. All anybody would need to do is just tune it up and they're ready to go. I hope you found today's uh, unboxing and review of the Mirio Laminate Mahogany Concert Ukulele helpful. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you've played one of these before, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it or how you think it compares to some other instruments you've played. If you found this review um, helpful to you, please subscribe. I'd love to have you come and see more of the review videos I do as well as the build videos I do as well. Thanks for watching.